What is a kill switch? A kill switch is a device used to kill the guitar signal when activated. This is what the kill switch looks like. It has two sockets, one is the input and the other is the output and this switch. So when the signal enters the input socket and the switch is disengaged, then the signal normally travels through the output socket. But when the switch is engaged, the switch short circuits the input and the signal returns to the guitar without going to the output socket, hence killing the signal. The best part about this device is that it can be used as a kill switch and also be used as a keyboard sustain pedal where you can connect any one of these to the sustain input of a keyboard and when you press the switch the keyboard will sustain. Also it can be used as a foot switch for your multi effect processors uh, where you connect one of these to the foot switch input and when you engage the switch whatever is assigned to the foot switch will happen. So what happens in the circuit is that the guitar signal gets into this input socket and this the two individual connections are connected to the switch as well as the output socket. So when you push the switch the signal comes in and goes back to the guitar and when the switch is disengaged or not pressed the input signal goes to the output signal and the input ground reaches the output ground. To make the skill switch you need two mono quarter inch audio or phono sockets. You need one push to on non latching SPST switch. Then you need an enclosure to house your kill switch. You need some wire. You need a drill with a correctly sized drill bits. Okay, first we'll start with drilling the holes. We need three holes in this uh, one for the switch and two for the two sockets. So let's use this drill. So now we need to drill the two holes for the two sockets. I choose to orient my pedal in a landscape fashion. So I'm going to make the holes on the sides, these sides. You may choose to do otherwise. After we are done drilling the holes, we'll make sure that all the components fit in the holes that we've made. So, let's try that. And they do. Now we need to make the electrical connections for the switch and the sockets. We have to connect one terminal of each of the three devices together. So, that means is that the ground of one socket will go and get connected to the ground of the other socket via one terminal of the switch and the same happens with the signal connection of the two sockets we connect these two together via the other terminal so let's do that
since I have screws on my switch, I don't need to solder the wires to it. I can just push the wires through the hole and tighten the screw with a screwdriver. So this is the final result, this is how it looks and works perfectly fine. Thank you for watching.